Hey, I'm Nogi, I'm a 3D artist. Dyn Turbo vs. Remeshing. In the 3D modeling software Blender, you cannot only model just moving geometry around, but you can also sculpt. But if you just grab one of the primitive objects in Blender and switch to the sculpt mode and try to sculpt, you quickly realize I don't have enough geometry to really move this and shape this into what I want. What you need is more geometry as you build your sculpt. And there are two methods that you can use to do that. So in this video, I'm going to give you the pros and cons to both and which one I use to do my sculpts. Dyn Topo adds more geometry locally, basically where you need to sculpt. So if you're starting with a resolution of 5 and then you switch to 10 and you only sculpt on the head, only the head will have more geometry. It basically divides the geometry that is already there to give you more. Dyn Topo is a great way to create the big shapes and protrusions of your mesh when you create the base mesh because it doesn't require you to reinterpret the mesh the whole time. It just gives you more geometry where you need it. This way of working, for me at least, also feels very natural. It is one fluid motion and you can just work and work and work until the end of time basically. You can also vary the mesh resolution for a full body character. You need a lot more in the face so with dynamic topology you only have geometry where you really need it. You can very effectively use dynamic topology for very small details without having a very very dense mesh because you can very locally increase the resolution to give you enough geometry to create these wrinkles. The negatives are first of all that it maybe feels unintuitive for beginners. It has a slight learning curve to it. Once you get used to it it's fairly simple because the triangulates the mesh it can lead to some jagged edges which are pretty hard to fix sometimes if you increase your resolution level quite a lot and then you try to scope very big patches of the scope it can get quite taxing on your pc another thing that is maybe more subjective but could also be a negative point would be that it looks a little bit blocky you need more geometry with dynamic topology to make it look very nice and smooth Hey, if you like the video, consider subscribing. Thank you. Remeshing basically reinterprets your mesh, deletes the old one and creates a new one with new, more uniform topology while still preserving the volume. Remeshing, I think is more intuitive for beginners because you just kind of remesh and then you can continue sculpting. And then if you realize, hey, my sculpt is too blocky, my sculpt needs more geometry, then you just hit remeshing again and then you can continue sculpting. It doesn't have a performance penalty after the remeshing is done. So maybe the remeshing might be a little bit laggy, maybe Blender freezes, but once that is done, you can continue sculpting without any problem. It is a smooth experience in that way. And it's a really, really great tool to shape the sculpt and refine the sculpt after the block out. Because of the very uniform topology, it also has a very smooth and natural look to it compared to dynamic topology. Another big benefit of using remeshing is that it can merge multiple meshes together. So if you create a block out and then you join all the pieces together, it's going to reinterpret all the individual objects, which creates one single mesh, which you can then continue working on and refining. The cons to remeshing is that some tools might might not work that properly with remeshing. Stuff like the snake hook brush, for example, isn't really suited for remeshing because it needs to get more and more geometry. You could, of course, just remesh the whole time, but I think it's a little bit tedious to do that. Another problem is if pieces are too close together, remeshing will just reinterpret them as one and merge them together. It is also very taxing on the higher resolution. The higher the resolution, the longer it'll take to remesh the whole mesh and create a new one. It is really good to keep the volume of a shape, but if you went into small areas and added harsh edges for example it might smooth those out which would remove the work that you've done there to really fine-tune the face for example you can choose between both of them but i would propose a better solution you should use the dynamic topology to create the first base mesh then you switch to remeshing and you remesh the mesh to refine the shapes of the block out and then if you go into very small details and maybe remeshing gets quite laggy you switch to dynamic topology again and add smaller details in localized areas so you don't tax your pc too much and you can keep the high density areas to areas where you actually need it. 